Hello and welcome back to the Thriftington Post. My name is Lantis, and this week I've unfortunately been playing Walking Dead Survival Instincts. It, this game is a total cash-in piece of trash. It's really, really bad. Everything about it is bland, slapdash together, the no thought or creativity or spark of imagination went into this game at all. It's every uh, for one thing the your surroundings the environment is flat just like completely flat ground with like stuff drawn on it like you know here's some leaves here's some brown stuff here's more brown stuff here's more brown stuff a lot of it's brown and then like the areas around you just straight up flat drawn on you're walking through a box or through a tunnel yeah it's a box it's like it's not even rounded off they don't even care enough to do that and okay the like you can shoot stuff and it dies cool it fun it's a functional game it wasn't too buggy as far as i recall but it's it, it, it lacks i don't know mojo it lacks goodness it lacks entertainment it's okay for one thing the stealth system it's completely broken. Now, a stealth system in a zombie game makes sense, right? It sounds like a great thing. You sneak around, you don't make too much noise, the zombies don't hear you, you can do what you need to do and get out of there quickly and quietly without causing too much of a commotion. Except the stealth system doesn't work in this game because at random intervals, just wherever the, f the programmers felt like putting them, certain zombies will automatically aggro you. They'll automatically detect your presence, get up and bolt at you. And here's the thing, you were just stealthing. You're very quietly stepping around this zombie, then stepping around that zombie, and by the time the pre-programmed, way across the room zombie that's like, you? gets up and starts charging at you, you're surrounded by zombies, and now you have to fight this one. You can pull out a gun and shoot it, alerting all the zombies around you to just come flood in and kill you, or you can let it run up to you and you can, you know, punch it to death. Oh, I take it the not buggy part back. Sometimes whenever a bunch of zombies have aggroed you all at once and they all dogpile you, this can only have happened because of a bug. They'll take turns doing this struggle event. A struggle event is like a QTE or something. You spam a button, you um, stab it in the head, knock it off. And then the next one does the same thing. And then the next one does the same thing. And then the next one does the same thing. And a lot of the times, if there's like 10, 20 zombies on you, which can happen and will happen, there's actually an Xbox achievement for it called Bear Hug or Group Hug or something like that you're going to die. There's absolutely no way you'll have enough health to QTE through all of them. But it's going to be a very slow death if you just give up and put the controller down and you just sit there. It's like, okay, I'm done with this. Kill me. Kill me? You're not going to kill me, are you? No. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. I had nothing to do for the next 30 minutes. I'll just wait for y'all to eat me. And that is what happens every time one of these um, predetermined to aggro you zombies detects your presence, gets up, runs at you in the struggle. It alerts all the others and they all dogpile you and it takes forever for them to kill you. And there's no way out of it. And then you start way back, like 20 minutes back from wherever the stage started and have to do it again. And yeah, this time you know, okay, that zombie is going to aggro me. But all that tells you is that now you have to way backtrack and start picking off zombies one at a time as you go through the area up to where that one zombie is and then deal with him very slowly, very meticulously. And so really, because of this, there's no reason to even have a stealth system. You'll never be able to properly utilize it. And it is tremendously immersion-breaking, because if I wanted to, I don't know, RP that I was in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, I don't know why I would do that in a Walking Dead game, but I would want to, you know, 
use my ability to stealth and get around quietly and quickly all these enemies, and if I'm guaranteed to get attacked by a certain one who, as soon as you step over his trigger line, gets up and comes at you, then, you know, that doesn't feel like I messed up and I deserve to fight this thing now. It feels like the programmer decided this is where you will fight a zombie now. And at that point, anything the player does is outside of their hands. They have to engage that zombie. They have to engage every zombie around it. And what I said earlier about the noise, guns always alert everything within like 100 miles. Way later on, like 90% through the game, you get your crossbow, and then you could have killed that enemy in question quietly. On your second playthrough, of course, you have to know which one's going to do this, and then you have to, you know, work your way back through the level, remember which one it is, kill him, and, yeah, it's, it's really obnoxious. Oh, right, and also, it, uh, you can't even do that till near the very end of the game, because that I mentioned you play as, what's his name, Dell through all this? And so the crossbow is like this big, I don't know, symbol they're trying to hoist up as this is the ultimate form of Dell, you know, the Dell that you know from the TV series. Th that I mentioned the story takes place back in time before uh, the show begins. This is sort of what happened to Dell before you meet him. What happens to him? Nothing. Do you find out who he was before the apocalypse? No. During the, the outbreak? No. This is an established apocalypse. You're Dell. You haven't met the group yet. You're not going to meet the group in this game. Spoilers. I, I blurt out spoilers sometimes. You're not going to meet the group during this game. You're just Dell. You're going through a series of poorly constructed scenery that repeats a lot. Like, uh, there's this one train yard, right? And you'll be seeing this one train yard over and over again. It's like, okay, this um, suburban area might have supplies. Do you want to stop here? Okay. Oh, it's the train, it's the train yard. Um, this train station um, might have some survivors. Oh, it's the train yard. And all the items are in the same place every time you go to these repeated areas. All the enemies are in the same place. Everything happens in the same order. It's identical. So, again, lazy programming, uh, lack of imagination, lack of creativity, everything is bland as it can be, and there's not even, like, a little story within this to help you understand who Dell is better. You might meet some survivors, they might tag along with you for a while, but they're not gonna mean anything to you. You don't get to know them, they don't get to know you, and if they die, it means nothing to you, because... Yeah, the the game just does. You don't know them. It's like, oh, I'm I'm old and was left behind. Will you take me on with you? Sure. Oh, my car can only hold one passenger. I'll just leave you here to die, old lady. Or I have a spot for you. Get on in. Could you go find some oil at this next stop? Your companion died while looking for oil. Dang it! I could have had oil. That's the extent of it. You don't care, oh, a person just died. No, it's, oh, I could have had a little more supplies. Yeah, that's Walking Dead survival instincts. It's dull. Oh, you know, I, I got off track at several points, and I don't remember where all I got off track, but one thing I know that I meant to bring up was as far as the um, random zombie aggro goes, Sometimes you're walking along, you see like a horde of zombies, and they go along. Okay, cool. Other times, you're going along, you see a horde of zombies, and they're coming right for you. There's no way to indicate that they're going to come right for you. And the proper thing to have done was to run right at where they're going, get past them, and bolt that way. Or bolt in some direction they're not, because now you're being chased by zombies, that's what's meant to happen here. Game, it doesn't indicate it until they eat you, and then just the next time through, you know, oh, this is the part where I'm supposed to run. Or you could see a horde and just automatically, I don't know, intervene them, because that's what you had to do for the other one, and then run, and it's a dead end, and oh, this was the pack of zombies that I was supposed to flip gone by. I should have just done nothing and, you know, just wait and see if they kill me. 
But of course, the kill you scene is going to be another massive bear hug where you just put the controller down and groan for 10 minutes. And then you know your mistake, I guess. And you go back and you do it properly. So, uh, this game, I don't like it very much. All right, so that's about it for our show this week. Wow, I got through this entire thing without one edit, I don't think. Yeah, usually I'm like having to pause and try to remember what I was going to say. No, nothing this time. Hey, I'm getting good at these. All right, if you would like to get in touch with me, you can do so on Twitter, Atlantis Armstrong. That's L-E-N-T-I-S-A-R-M-S-T-R-O-N-G. And thanks for watching. I'll see you later.